to my podcast, a podcast, my YouTube channel, excuse me. Um, boy, I don't know about goofball. Anyway, uh, this is a, a painting that I've done a while back. And I sold, this is a 30, 24 by 30. And I sold a, sold the 18 by 24. And I decided to do it again. It's based on um, an image I saw while we're driving. The sun, sunset, but it was shining on the eastern side, you know, the sky and stuff. The shining on the buildings and stuff. And I committed to memory and I painted it. The piece that I'm talking about, the initial piece, is this one here. I had a lot of tape on it, so it's kind of weird, but... Anyway, I was going to do a whole new one again. I thought, you know, I got so much erroneous feedback that I... <clears throat> really change the look of it as you can tell so what I'm going to do is so what I've done actually is try to bring it back to closer to my initial um, envisioned piece you know, that I saw uh, back when so that's what this is now I've taken this back to hopefully close to what I initially saw and it seems like it is that there's a few little areas I've marked out here that I want to change this is a little too dark here I need to have this a little lighter and greener as over here and I need to have a little bit more yellow coming out of these trees or the yellow orange out of these leaves here so Otherwise, it's pretty close to what I saw, actually, in a 24 by 30 format. So that's that project. It's almost done. And if I can erase the lines of that piece that I showed you, I will put that in as the plain air piece that I... It's a combination plain air piece and... Um, plain air piece and studio piece and this being the studio piece right here so that's that project yeah almost done now moving over to my french easel i don't know if you remember i had a the, the show the drawing i did a sketchbook with my non-dominant hand right so then the next challenge to this organization I belong to, an artist says, he said to paint a painting in the Zorn palette, the Zorn, Z-O-R-N palette. It's uh, 16, no, but, uh, late eight, 1800s, 1900s, early 1900s um, painter. Um, and so I decided, well, I'll combine two of these things and I'll paint this all in my left hand and in a Zorn palette. Zorn palette, you ask, what is Zorn palette? Well, this is in casings, okay? So you can see from the pile of messes I have here that on the far left is white. But it's basically three colors. And yellow ochre, a vermilion, which uh, they don't make too much anymore, but it's somewhere like uh, cad red light. In this case, since it's casein, it's cad red scarlet, or pale like scarlet. And then um, uh, ivory black as the blue. Mm -hmm. So, not very blue, but um, I was talking to a friend, another good, very good painter, and we were talking about that one day, and he says, well, you know, 
I th we think that Zorn kind of sneaked in cobalt blue from time to time to get the blue. And I gotta agree because I was wearing a blue shirt. And that's not blue on the light side there. That's a gray. But I don't know. See, here's the thing. Pigments, colors, color combinations all change quite a bit. One brand will have a, what they call an ivory black, which is supposed to be a bluish black. Some change, some, in every brand changes a little bit. So, and I've experimented with a number of different ones. And the ivory black for Shiva caseins is not all that blue. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? So, but Shiva also makes a another color that is they call. Uh, I'm blanking on the name now. I can't stand this. It's um, a bluish black, but it's a changed and added thing. So that probably would work better than the, quote, ivory black for casing. So what I have to do now is photograph this, send it off to the group, and see what happens. So we'll talk later. Thanks for watching, and um, I'll show you some more things later. Um, I'm hoping to get some things, some new equipment in that I can actually do this while I'm showing my mug. Ugh, terrible. But uh, at least I can have, be hands-free so I can do some painting without um, messing up my camera and my phone and all sorts of other things. So anyway, um, stay tuned. Um, please subscribe and like. I'm trying to build this YouTube channel. Um, let's see what happens. Thank you very much for watching. And Hello everyone. This is an addendum to my previous video. The blue I was talking about, or the blackish blue, bluish black rather, is called Payne's Gray. It has cobalt blue mixed in with the ivory black, so it comes out a little bit bluer. And this is something that most manufacturers, even when they make Payne's Gray, still does not look blue when you lighten it up. So it's something that you really have to be careful of when you're trying to combine this stuff. So, in this case, it works out all right because there's not a lot of blue in it. And the ivory black, eh, it works well enough, so it's not a problem. It would be interesting to try it in we're using Payne's Gray. But for now, um, we'll just do with this. And next time, I'll use Payne's Gray instead of ivory black. When I'm working in Shiva casein, if I'm working in other oils and even in watercolor too, certain manufacturers have a real bluish ivory black. Something to think about when you're doing that, right?